Anthony, what do you think of this season's format? Uh, a bunch of champions from all over the kind of different regional circuits. Uh, what do you make of it? I think they're getting creative. I mean, it's a cool concept. I think uh, these guys definitely deserve a chance at the big stage. And, uh, I mean, DJ's up there just dominating. So it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing for them. Yeah. So, Matt, and no surprise that Rizzo decided to kind of try to take you down. Um, you know, was it a problem early in the fight for you? Uh, we, we expected it coming in that he would uh, want to want to be grappling eccentric so it was something we were kind of prepared for I was I was ready to go wherever the fight needed to go so yeah, worked and, out well yeah and speaking of preparation you know a lot of people get into the ultimate fighter house and they're kind of overwhelmed they don't like that idea of living with all these people but you have spent some time living in the dorms at American Top Team so do you feel that that has maybe prepared you for the show better than others <clears throat> you know going into it I thought that it would I really felt like I would have an advantage I spend a lot of time away from my family and my friends but Honestly, uh, it's hard to be away from your people, as yeah. you could expect. So, uh, no, I don't think I don't think I carried an advantage at all. A Anthony, does any part of you wish that your brother Sergio uh, competed on the Ultimate Fighter as opposed to kind of getting right onto the? Uh, to not, the UFC? not really. I think his no. age. I think his age. He came in the right way. You know, he get to build him up, take his time. Um, and he coached the Ultimate Fighter with me when I was there the whole time. Right. It's a rough time for these guys. Making weight for six weeks in a row, I mean, that's that's a long time. Yeah, yeah it's tough, but, you know, we know that Brandon Marino, I, I'm curious what your reaction is to this. He's on this season of the Ultimate Fighter. He lost his first fight. Most people would be pretty bummed out. He gets the short-notice call to fill in for <clears throat> Mr. Sergio Pettis, <laughs> pulls off the huge win. How, how excited were, for, were you when you saw that? I was excited for him. Um, I, I don't think people understand how, how much talent is in this weight class, so it was good to see... Uh, Smoke is obviously a guy who has a lot of skill and has gotten a lot of big wins in the UFC. So, you know, it just goes to show what type of talent's out there and what type of talent's on this show. And do you think that there is a, an issue with recognizing the talent in the division? Maybe it's because DJ's so dominant. Do you feel that people maybe aren't recognizing that, how deep you actually are? Well, it's a shallow division, and I think uh, the UFC just hasn't signed many guys. So it's exciting to be a part of the Ultimate Fighter and, and to be a part of this show and, you know, try and bring this weight class back from the dead. All right, well, so you do see it as shallow. Okay, you know, I mean, that's the thing. No, it, you know, that's an honest opinion, and obviously yeah. this tournament is designed to get some depth to it.